Uh, he's a very big streamer. If you see his streams, he's very consistently a very nice stream. He streams like streams like Kirby, or he streams like all the Kirby games, like Phantom Hourglass. Um, there are some other ones. I think he did a speedrun of Katamari before. Um, oh, that's when, such it, when awesome. it came out with the remake, yeah. Uh, yeah, you should check out his Switch. It's twitch.tv slash Mr. Like MR underscore Shasta if you want to check out his stream as well. He's got a great Discord community, got some nice emotes. They're all Weasels and Kirby, so if you're into that stuff, very cute, uh, you should go check it out as well. I will make absolutely sure to do that. Yep, as uh, someone who's interested in streaming himself, just needs to get a PC, I am I'm all for it. I am down for the cause, down for the struggle. All right, and we see the hype rock, paper, scissors. I sadly don't get to see that. It's actually one of my most favorite things about Smash and rock, paper, scissors. Well, at least in SoCal, a lot of it is just PS2. <laughs> we move on to Oh, it. yeah, we're so democratic here. <laughs> but it depends. Uh, it looks like they're actually going through with it. I mean, if it's a if it's against a matchup or a player that I don't know, I feel like you should anyway. Because I know a lot of people are like PS2, but you, know, you, you kind of want to know what they're thinking in terms of what stages do they like, what stages do they seem to not like, if you have no idea about, like, the Samus matchup, for example. But it looks like we're going to Town and City this time around. Okay. Yeah, you're right, though. Uh, PS2, while a pretty good default stage, it's not perfect. I would say that if I'm fighting... I was talking about this earlier before you came on. If I was fighting S2H's Meta Knight, I'm not bringing him to PS2. There's absolutely no way. I don't want anything to do with those side platforms getting killed off the top. Nuh -uh. I'm good. Alright, we're going to Zero Suit. I actually agree with this. Um... Samus in general is a character that you want to wall out your opponent. And not necessarily a zoner, but just in close mid-range. You want to just keep your opponent out. But Young Link has both pretty good projectiles, a shield, and uh, just in general the speed to be able to match that. So a character like Zero Suit just be able to match that speed is very important, I think. And a good combo game as well. Being able to hit a... Uh, and, and Zero Suit Samus is a fastballer, no? Yeah, so being able to hit a fastballer like that. Nair, back air. We have two drag downs with a forward air one and back air one, and then it just leads to so many different things. Right now, quick thing, a really good job is using Zero Suit's mobility, like I've talked about before, to just make sure that he doesn't really get hit and then uses that pressure to try and elicit Shasta to make a reaction first. Great ledge tapping with that long lasting dash attack. Still got him at the ledge, but we're finally gonna get clipped by a Nair, but that's minus on hit, unfortunately, it looked like. If that was early percent, so he's gonna get clipped by a Dare and into the Paralyzer boost oh. kick, and that's gonna be able to do it. This was down in City, too. Dying that early. I mean, it wasn't the earliest stock, but... Whew. I think at that point, it was just more the horizontal kill rather than the vertical one. Boost Kick's still very powerful horizontally, so... That's oh, yeah. just gonna be very easy for Quick to be able to seal that out. Oh, that was an unfortunate uh, attempt at a conversion of Bomb into Nair, but it didn't quite work out for Shasta. Okay. Ooh, making it back. Okay, got the back end of that up. Yeah, making it back safely. These conversions aren't... Uh, they're not working out entirely right now, but uh, I have faith. And that's one of the big things about Zero Suit 2, you just saw it right there. It's that free stage control back to the stage of kick flip. A lot of kickers aren't able to challenge that without being committal, or they leave themselves hanging in the air. Just be able to double jump and then kick flip to the other center stage. And Shasta wasn't able to keep control for long. Yeah, but you know, when you have a character with uh, Young Link's range, I think being edge guarded is actually the most of your concerns. Once you're back into the center, or basically free to start camping anchor. Yeah. Even though Zero Suit has the speed. <laughs> that boomerang. Oh man. Gotta be looking at your opponent there. That was a straight side B into the face. Oh, with grab, but it's not that bad actually on the pin lag, so quick not able to find a punish point oh. yet, but gonna space around it. Yeah, they wake up into out smash, try to catch quick kind of aerial or something, an anti-air, but that didn't quite work out. Ooh, that was a good fire arrow. Yeah, that fire arrow is such a such a game breaker for uh, Young Link. Really makes him a character. Head dash attack. Oh, that was <laughs> that was asking for a setup, and uh, Quick got a little bit of a setup right there, making as much out of uh, this three stock lead or two stock lead. Depending on the character, sometimes you don't really want to combo after your first startup move. You just yeah. want to go ahead and like wait for the defensive option afterwards, which is what he did. He crossed them up and then got the uh, whip afterwards. But Shots not going to be able to finally close out the stock with a forward throw. Absolutely right. Like you said, a lot of moves are uh, negative on hit at around this percent. We're at zero percent. Shots that got stuck on the platform there. Difficult for him to come back down and quit. Very... That was a good cross up. <laughs> quick, very quick. Uh, not well on my words right now, but yeah, he's doing a good <laughs> job of just keeping up with Shasta when he tries to come back into the neutral position. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if um, if Zero Suit Samus still has any uh, like forward throw into down B combos. It doesn't look like she does because I don't see it ever. But I'm wondering. Uh -huh where these down Bs are going to start coming from. Uh, usually the down B, like I said before, is used for regaining stage control. She does have some stuff like, oh! okay, that Magra's going to do it. She does have things like back throw into down B if the DI is bad for the opponent. Board throw is mainly used from DSS in this game to elicit tech chase situations at those mid percents, send them into tumble, and really get like a tech chase or just read it into an error. So like tech that. chase is at very low percent. Yeah, uh, more like more like mid percent, like 40-ish or something like that. That's pretty useful. That's pretty yeah. useful. Yeah, I mean, to... down throw is completely useless, so they pretty much have uh -huh. to do something else, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know, from what I've heard about down throw at the very beginning of the game, I was really starting to think that down throw was just completely useless as a combo tool. But it seems like down throw is still something that can be, like, like Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon can still use down throw in the air. It's, it's still a thing that works, just not at, like, zero or uh -huh. ten. Yeah, more like 40. Huh. Quick, actually going back to regular statement. I don't know if that was just uh, testing out with the first matchup if he could maybe do it, see if it's doable with regular Samus. He's got a white stage to work with, but that was just case with Town and City as well. But let's see if we can see the you know the zoner wall, not zoner, uh, the wall that uh, Samus is known for in this game. Oh yeah, yeah, that forward is definitely a huge wall of the zone right now. But uh, that's a pretty good lead. Uh, getting hit by a bomb unnecessarily. Oh, getting hit by that up B. And up B is a really good at a, uh, at a shield option for uh, quick. Oh, that was unfortunate. I think he extended his arm, and then that actually led to the hitbox like the trap. Unfortunate. Ooh, that was a well-intentioned approach by Shasta, but he was able to miss uh, the bomb and didn't really get a cross over from there. But he still has the neutral right now, so it's pretty okay. Not even allowing quick to charge up. Ah, oh, yeah, got caught during the frames, the start of frames of throwing that bomb. Okay, tries to get the nair and covers the option, but puts him on the opposite side. And now we got a full charge shot trying to pressure at the ledge here. Not gonna catch that jump though, unfortunately. Quick's gotta find another way to try and seal out the stock. Shots are not too far behind either. And he's oh. got the control and he's gonna get that chase on the Kalos platform with that bear. Oh yeah. And I see that uh, bomb is a huge proponent of using those uh, those bombs, Shasta. Ah, oh, getting caught with that board. I'm telling you, that forward air is such a monster of a move. Lasts forever, it's got a huge range, it's wonderful. And yep. you can combo into it with down throw, just like I've said. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Very nice stuff. Oh! oh trying to go in with the dare. He's not gonna be able to finish it off, but he's got an amazing amount of percent with it. Okay, getting a nice little down tilt forward there. It's a true combo. Yeah, if, if you see in general, it looks like Quink is not able to play his game because it's only because of the matchup because um, just in general, Young Link's projectiles are very fast. But it looks like he's been doing a good job anyways. Even when he gets one opening, he's able to extend it very far and just continue the damage, the pressure, and the control. Winner, he has something like that. And he's going to catch him with the up tilt. Shasta nodding in approval. He just knows he got blown up there. Oh, yeah, that up is so strong. Yeah, and you know, uh, both of these characters are pretty good at running stuff as well. Yeah. And one thing I want to note as well, Quick is one of the best Samuses, in my opinion, using movement with this character. You're going to see a lot of B-reverses, you got a lot of weight bounces uh, with the charge shot. That's why a lot of Samuses don't like to keep charge shot, charged up charge shot, just because uh, you have those movement options available. And he's also really great at wave landing and knowing how to escape pressure with it, especially on a stage like this. So you're going to see that happening a lot if Shasa doesn't read it, then he's just going to wave dash back, and then he's going to be able to keep up control. Oh yeah, he's very good at moving. I also noticed that Samus is fairly hard to edge guard. I mean, you have so many different options. You have bomb to stall yourself. Ooh, okay. Not quite. There are some pretty good true combos that you can get off of a regular up B since it sends him straight up into the air. You can go up B and up B. Yeah, we got a lot of nice conversions. Kind of Samus got is heavy. On the B reverse there. Not quite going to work out there. He gets caught on this air, though. Still going to be able to recover just fine. Oh, boy. Okay, I thought we were going to send Link into his own bomb here. Yeah, those bombs are a key factor in edge guarding as well. You're able to cover like four out of five options with those bombs alone. Yeah, even then on the ground, you'll be able to be reversed very nicely. Keep up the pressure. Gonna get a quick grab there. Continue on the pressure. He has another up tilt, and that almost killed actually. And that's uh, actually bomb death. In hand? Yeah, no bomb in hand. That's a shame. But you know what? We uh, we know Shasta to be a pretty good player, but we know quick to be uh, the number one player in Germany. So uh, yeah, pretty tough stuff.